Hey everybody, Angela Artolino here. Did you know that the number one reason why pets get euthanized is because of allergies? At my boarding and grooming shop, we see up to uh, over 150 dogs on a Friday and Saturday. The number one thing I get asked, the number one thing people have issues with are allergies. So I'm here to show you that there are some things that you can do in your home and with your pet that will make a huge difference. First thing you need to consider is their immune system. Their immune system lives in their gut, so what they eat is their medicine. So if you're feeding your dog a kibble diet, the ingredients and the starch used to keep those ingredients together and make them shelf stable are their number one contributors to pets' allergies, inflammation, and poor gut health. Fillers, corn, rice, potato, wheat, GMO ingredients, chicken and beef byproduct meal, rendered beef, food dyes, artificial flavoring, corn syrup, BHA, BHT, all of these things are contributors to our dog's allergies and problems. When you feed a fresh, raw, or freeze-dried diet that's free of common allergens, the body will begin to heal itself. It's pretty amazing that way. Some of these proteins are hot and cause inflammation in some dogs, and they're very popular. Proteins like venison, lamb, chicken. Try more neutral proteins like beef and pork and sardines. And if you have a very old or if you have a sick pet, try cool proteins like rabbit, duck, turkey, and whitefish are great for allergic dogs. The other thing to consider is medications. Most dogs who are suffering from allergies end up at the vet, where instead of fixing the problems, they are prescribed a medication that masks the body's response and suppress the pet's immune system. Also, many prescription and over-the-counter flea and tick and heartworm medications are pesticides, and many pets have allergic reactions to them. And what do vets prescribe the most? A drug called Apoquil. This little pill will stop the itching, but what it also does is suppress the immune system. It doesn't take care of the problem or the allergy. As a matter of fact, it causes more problems. Apoquil. Do not use it in dogs less than 12 months of age or those with serious infections. Apoquil may increase the chances of developing serious infections and may cause existing parasitic skin infections and pre-existing cancers to get worse. Another main contributor to our dog's allergies are flea, tick, and heartworm protection meds. Most conventional flea and tick products, including collars, topical treatments, sprays, and dust are registered as pesticides and regulated by the FDA. But the ugly truth is that many of these pesticides allowed for use on our pets are linked to serious health issues in people such as cancer, neurological and respiratory problems, and pets can also suffer from this. Skin irritation, neurological problems, gastrointestinal disorders, and even organ failure has been reported as a result of these pet poisonings. Look out for toxic chemicals in your lawn chemicals, weed killers, bug sprays, even inside your home, floor and carpet cleaners, and your laundry detergents. Most air fresheners just cover up the scents. They don't actually get rid of the odor. And they use it by using synthetic fragrances and chemicals. Some vaporizers use impure oils or candles burn toxic carcinogens into the air. All of these items affect the quality of the air we breathe and impact our pet's health. Lastly, consider genetics. Many breeds are predisposed to developing allergies like Frenchies or Chinese Sharpays and fox terriers and golden retrievers. The tendency to develop allergies is often hereditary, which means it can be passed down through genes from parents to their pups. Someone usually doesn't inherit a particular allergy, just the likelihood of having allergies. So when exposed to these synthetic chemicals, you're often going to see a reaction. The good news is that there's a lot of natural products out there to help us get through this. First, we're gonna start with diet. If you don't wanna make your dog's meal every day, there's easy solutions for both meals and healthy snacks. Companies like Answers, Bones and Company, Small Batch, 
Uh, we got Dr. Becker who makes wonderful treats, all natural, fresh and raw, and they make it really easy for you to feed your dog a fresh and raw diet every day. Or if you wanna make it yourself, there's wonderful cookbooks that tell you what to make. Also, when you're cleaning your dog, clean them with natural products, like Aroma Paws is a wonderful natural shampoo. Diatomaceous Earth is an awesome, all natural pesticide that kills ants, roaches, fleas, ticks, all of them. It also can be taken internally to kill any parasites or worms inside the gut. And when you can, avoid toxic prescription medications that cause more harm than good. Look for your homeopaths and all natural products that help the body heal themselves. Adored Beast Apothecary makes wonderful products. CBD Dog Health makes wonderful products. All these companies make amazing products to help our dogs heal naturally. Hopefully you've gotten a few tips to help remove the allergens out of your home and help your pet heal naturally. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm here to help you help your pets heal naturally. Diatomaceous word.